My name is Molly Rowe Westbrook. The doctor spelled it M-O-L-L-E-Y, and uh, I didn't know about it until I was 16, and I got my uh, Social Security at the name, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that's my legal name, but I, to close friends, I still write Molly, M-O-L-L-Y. So EY is not absolutely necessary? No. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it's just in uh, legal papers. So. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, and, and tell us about your, your um, father and mother and, and your first memories with them. Well, my <clears throat> father was Carlton Avery Rowe. And uh, my mother's name was Ruby Bell Simpson. My father's uh, mother's name is Mary, but I can't think of her last name just at this minute. But his father's name was, um, I can't think of that either. Um, it's a writer's name, and I can't think of it. But uh, my fa father's grandmother was Felinda Fletcher Rowe. And she was a painter. She did the paintings in this room. And um, my father's own mother died when he was eight days old. Mm. And she, and then he lived with cousins, Fletcher cousins, for a few years. And then our, his, grand, his father married several times. And one time he married his uh, own cousin who was Elsie Fletcher, and she um, called my father son, and uh, he called her mother. And uh, from then on, he stayed with her, not with his father, or ever with his father, when they were divorced, when his father and stepmother were married, after they were married. Mm -hmm. And uh, anyhow, she she liked my father, she loved my father, and she loved my brother, but she didn't care much for my, my mother. <laughs> oh. And But she was good to him. My father was in the Navy, and uh, when I tell people he went to Chicago during World War I, <laughs> they laugh, but there was a big Navy base there where they sent the the needs of the sailors through, you know, mm -hmm. and that's where he worked. Mm. And um, he, has, one thing he remembered about it was that um, the writer of NOLA was in his group, and uh, he had been to Chicago when he was a baby. That was one time when he was in uh, four or five years old, I guess. He was in a, um, a school, you know, over there. Mm -hmm. And he, um, they used him for pictures in advertisements because he was such a beautiful boy. Mm. Hold on there, Mama, for a second. So your so your granddaddy grew up um, in Michigan. Uh, yes, uh, mostly with his Fletcher cousin, and then with Elsie. And mm -hmm. uh, uh, my his grandfather was Alfred Rowe, who came from England, and he brought cattle over here. Mm -hmm. He made several trips and brought cattle to the United States, and. Um, he was from a very wealthy family, and he died young. And when Valinda remarried, his family disowned her. It was in the Queen Victoria time, you know, and you weren't supposed to get remarried. <laughs> so uh, we didn't know much about the other rows. So they just didn't, didn't share much information? Well, we didn't have anything to do. They didn't have anything to do with us. Uh, mm -hmm. 
They were in Detroit. Mm -hmm. And um, then my mother's family, um, my grandmother's father was Phil, Philip Veely. Veely? Veely, V-E-A-L-E-Y. Mm -hmm. And he was in the Civil War. And he had two wives. The first one, my grandmother's mother, uh, they had eight children. Eight? And my grandmother was born after the Civil War. You can see where they, uh, he was gone the four war, the four years. There were no children born, you know. Mm -hmm. And she was born in 71. 1871. 1871. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think that's right. Somewhere along in there. And then she married a poem. Oh, how do you say it? P-U-L-L-E-N. Pullen. Okay. Uh -huh. And she had three children by him. And then he died. And then later she married my grandfather, who was Wilford Simpson. Mm. And he was an itinerant painter, but he settled down and made cement blocks. And, uh, but he also did some painting, and he delivered them. All the paintings that were in his house were destroyed when their f home burned. Mm. And he built a tar paper shack, kind of like. You know, and uh, that's where he and my grandmother were living when he died. Mm. And so then, most of those paintings were destroyed. Were destroyed, uh huh. When uh, later, my grandmother's two brothers uh, built her a house up by our house that was closer to the front of my grandmother's property. Mm -hmm. And that's where my grandmother lived after that. And uh, so my, they, yeah, go ahead. my grandmother had seven children, uh, uh, son Carl, um, son Carl, and then Eva, and then Ioma. And after Ioma was born, uh, that was Pullen, and he died. That uh, was uh, Carl. Uh, I've forgotten his last, first name, but he was a Mr. Pullen. And then, then she married my grandfather, who was Wilbert Simpson. Mm -hmm. And she had my mother, and then Aunt Pearl, and then Uncle Howard, and then Uncle Bob. Mm -hmm. And um, we all, my mother didn't like to live away from her mother. Mm -hmm. That's why we always had to live <laughs> close to grandmother, next door or a couple blocks away. Mm -hmm. And, um, but my grandmother had to go to work a lot of the time. So my own two younger uncles lived with us, Howard and Bob. And she worked f for some time at a sanatorium for TV. Mm -hmm. And later she worked in a hotel. Mm -hmm. I can remember going there and seeing a whole table of pies that she made. Mm -hmm. So she was cooking, huh? Yeah, when I was quite little. Mm -hmm.